Hello, I'm Ben Tenwitz. Welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies, where we're doing more minigames. Here's Seeing Stars, and we have to use Starfruits for this because it's all about the Starfruits. So, uh, essentially, we have to arrange the stars in a pattern, and we win. But, uh, let's get started now. Pretty basic minigame. Gonna bring the melon pulse, because why not? If I have some excess sun. But most of it, probably gonna get this done pretty quickly because of the um the star fruits will uh, do a bunch of damage when you get tons of them everywhere alrighty then the reason I brought like the pea shooters is just in case because star fruits their angles of attacking are pretty weird so I recommend using all star fruits and nothing else. So, alright. Wait, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I forgot what I did there. Um, that was just to show you what happens if you try to plant anything except star fruits. You can only plant star fruits there. If you don't, then you can't plant anything there at all. <laughs> I forgot what I did there for a minute. I remembered what I was going to show you. And now I've shown you. Now continue playing Plants vs. Zombies. Or, in my case, watching Plants vs. Zombies being played. By me in the past. So today is the 1st of February, I believe. Am I crazy? No, it is the 1st of February. Alright, we just planted our first star fruit there and uh, made a little diamond sound thingy. Alrighty then. So, sorry about that. Um, so, lately there's been a really huge ice storm blizzard thing. So, I didn't have school yesterday or today, so. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to record much, many things. But, uh,. Hopefully, later this week I can record much more stuff. Much more stuffs. Many much more stuffs than ever before. I've never heard of grammar before, apparently. I use that joke a lot, apparently. Literally. Sokie dokie. Sokie dokie, what? What the heck is Sokie dokie? I don't know what Sokie dokie is, I just made it up right this very minute. So. <coughs> Sorry about that. This shouldn't take too much longer since, uh. I just have to keep playing them in that pattern. I'm getting a steady stream of sun. So this should be pretty easy, actually. I'm just eating some chips because I can. And again, big waves of zombies, they're just waves, nothing happens if you beat them. Oh crap, buckethead zombie, uh, what am I gonna do about this? Uh, walnut, go! Save me from the evil buckethead! Oh great, ah, uh, more buckethead zombies. Whatever shall I do? Oh boy. I can't really do anything about this. I could use a cherry bomb. I very well could use a cherry bomb. Or I could just wait for... Okay. That's... Oh, that's fine. There we go. That's good. <laughs> that gets rid of that derp. Okay. We only have three more left to go. Now we have two left to go. Yeah, it's actually a pretty easy minigame. In fact, this whole video is, isn't is very long at all, because all the minigames here are easy. I don't know why... I don't know why all these minigames are so easy, they just are. Yeah, we're gonna get a diamond. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all the money. Eh, I honestly have no idea. 
Now, for something a little familiar if you play Popcraft games. Yes, this really is Insane Aquarium. It really is. Unfortunately, you're stuck to the three brains at a time thing. You can't upgrade them like an insane aquarium. But oh well. It's an easy minigame all the same. Again, this is a really easy minigame. This is more just gimmicky than anything else. And again, you have to collect uh, a certain amount of sun to pass the level. I forgot how much it is. I can't really read it. I'm looking off a small Windows Movie Maker screen, so I can't really see really too well what the heck is going on here. And I think it's funny how they make references to other PopCap games. Because this is a PopCap game. In fact, I might as well show you some references to PopCap games that are in... The Almanac, actually, it's Bourbon Almanac. But I'll show you that after I uh, completely fill it out by getting every plant, every zombie in there. The only zombie missing is that uh, strange blacked out zombie thing that you can only find in 4 10. I'll show it off when I get to it. But for now, Insane Aquarium with diver zombies. Nothing much going on here. Oh. Yeah, just like in St. Crim, the zombies uh, turn different color like that. That means they're almost dead. I've never had a zombie die on me. I'm not exactly sure what happens to it. Does, does their head pop off or something? I don't know. Well, we have a large amount of zombies. We're constantly getting a good amount of sun, so... Maybe one or two more zombies, and we should uh, be pretty well off here. Cost uh, five sun to give the zombies a brain if only I had a brain all these zombies do why have I never used that joke anywhere else maybe because I didn't think of it I don't think I need many more zombies just these will do yeah I, th I think that's about it I don't think I need any more if I could- Oh, yeah, almost there. A thousand sun is all we need. Here we go. One more sun. Come on. Give me more sun. Yeah! Honestly, I have no idea what happens if we let a zombie die. If it really does die, I have no idea what happens. And now we unlocked the ghoul's twist. Oh, boy. I can't wait for the next three minigames. It's gonna be annoying. <laughs> Now this, you could say, is a twist on Bagul, because of Bagul twist. I honestly have no idea. I'm not really an expert on this. I really don't know much about how this specific works, so... I just click randomly. Hopefully, I can win. And it works. When you see groups of, uh, <coughs> three plants like that, it's usually a good idea to go for them. Like those three mushrooms. Unless, of course, you can't do that. I could try and find more stuff out about this, but I'm way too lazy to. Besides, you only have to really do this minigame once, so... It's not really, uh, too difficult here. Oh, great. This might take a while, since... Just clicking randomly. Be cool. Uh, the normal be cool. That's uh, pretty fun, and it's uh, uh, that's easy. Don't really need to know much about it, but it's just there. But the cool twist is more annoying. I don't really like it too much. But oh well. He's gonna have to play another annoying mini game, unlike the next few. Uh, next mini game, big trouble, little zombies. In the DS version, that's replaced with a different mini game, a gimmicky video game, a, a, a gimmicky mini game that uses the DS microphone. Oh, I missed the coin. But unfortunately, I have to go through this one here. Portal Combat, which is the mini game after that. Now we're thinking with portals, guys. It's a bit annoying. 
we can prevail through it. And then call him like you see him. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Oh, all of these mini games are puns. If you couldn't tell already. Nope, no possible moves. Whoa, I see tons of possible moves. Then again, I assume they're possible moves because a bunch of plants put together like that. Here we go. I think we're... I have no idea how close we are to be done. I assume we're pretty close. And again, when the game says almost there, I can assume that's almost there. Sorry, I'm eating during LP video. I'm hungry. I want food to live. Meals on wheels. <laughs> Why on earth did we do that? Oh, I think making those pictures is the reason I made a DeviantArt account. Or maybe there's something else, I have no idea. I made DB in our account for some reason. Maybe just to view some pictures, I don't know. I'm actually posting stuff on it. Stuff that is completely nonsensical. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. No, there we go. I thought zombies would eat one of my plants, but I guess I did. Because we win! Next time on Let's Play Plants for Zombies, we'll do more mini games again. How long am I going to have to say that? I don't know. See you next time!